this is a continuation of my rejection of the criminality allowed to a U.S. attorney, this one named Robert J. Higdon, Jr. of the Eastern District of North Carolina. He claims that he has the right to um, reject a notification under 18 U.S.C. 4 that requires a judge, well, the judge rejected it, so maybe he's right, or a or person in civil, well, the FBI rejected it, so maybe he's right, or military. We've had multiple military uh, fellows who say they don't mean military authority. We're not going to do it. We're not even going to return your call. We're not even going to be professional. We're going to hide behind our walls behind all the security forces we have, and we won't even return the phone call of a proper young attorney by the name of Martha Beach, who is a former U.S. Air Force judge advocate paralegal. I, I may have misspoke one time where I didn't add on the paralegal. For eight years, she worked in the U.S. Air Force mainly as a paralegal, I would believe. And then over a decade, she's been an attorney and she has a nice little practice here in town, deserving of uh, as many clients as she can get. But she didn't get a call back. And I was there for at least two of her uh, attempts, leaving messages each time saying the word urgent. And they didn't call back. Lieutenant Colonel Elizabeth Sprecher, Colonel Don Yates, each have a criminal problem to explain, a major criminal problem, because it's been going on since, well, for, for them a little, a few days after May 6th. I got to the, to the uh, visitor center on May 6th and attempted to uh, go straight at it, and they blocked me totally. So they knew that Martha was calling, so that's why they didn't call her back. They decided they were gonna stiff 18 U.S.C. 4, because there was no penalty for doing it. Oh yeah, the penalty, Colonel Yates, Lieutenant Colonel Sprecher, and yes, General Mike Holmes, the penalty is a violation of the U.S. Constitution resulting in the murder of a blessed woman who does not need to die. But you guys are so pompous and so above the law that you think you can get away with it. I don't even think Mr. Trump would let you get away with it, but I know that the Democrats will prosecute you all because they will want to show what the Trump administration allowed to go on. So guys, you better worry and make sure Trump gets elected every year that he can run. Hey, wait, in 2024, the murder, if it goes to the level of a homicide, the statute will still be running, and you you will be allowed to live. You gave her the death penalty, but you'll be allowed to live. So idiot, idiot U.S. Attorney Bobby Higdon, who says he rejects it all. Here's what happened. The last time I saw Henny was the day they broke in. They broke in with the help of the police department and the help of the hospital, who delayed me for two hours before I could see Henny for what was it, five minutes? And he accused me of so many crimes you wouldn't believe. None of them made any sense. But then, oh yeah, let's not forget the mob. The mob was so big I could not imagine counting them. It could have been 18, it, I guess maybe 12, but never in a million years. Probably more like 28 people into the room of someone whose immune system was compromised in order to intimidate her. That's the only reason you have that many people in there. And they had them in there. And she recited all her accusations, and then she pulled her head up off, off the bed with great difficulty. She pulled her head up, and she said in, in a way that anyone who reads mysteries would know what it means, or any normal American would know what it means. She said in one direction to the left. Did I get it right? Or something quite similar, but I think it was, did I get it right? Then she said the same thing again. Did I get it right? Moved the angle by maybe 
25, 35 degrees. Then she moved it again and point and looked her head at someone else. Did I get it right? Then looked somewhere else. Did I get it right? She was screaming out, help me. I'm a hostage. And they forced me to say this. I would never say this against my best friend unless I was being forced. And I can prove that even if Henny does die. But God save her. You idiots. You stop violating 18 U.S.C. 4. There is no basis for what Lieutenant Colonel Sprecher, Colonel Yates, General Mike Holmes and his JAG people, there is no basis for them sitting on it. They had a duty to pass it on. Implicit duty. It's right there. There's no doubt you just don't report it to a military authority and they hold on to it or they refuse to hear the details. They have a duty to send it to the right place. And Mr. U.S. Attorney, you're claiming you have less of a duty? You're the one that will ultimately prosecute these crimes. But yes, you are not going to investigate them. But that doesn't mean you don't receive not notices of felonies and get them to the right organization in Washington, D.C., and my calculation is it's the Civil Rights Division of the Department of Justice, a department that you're a subordinate to. Mr. U.S. Attorney, you are now part of a murder conspiracy. And when she dies, yes, homicide will be one of the charges on your plate. You had better have a better reason than I'm a U.S. Attorney. The law is clear, and there is no case law that says U.S. Attorneys are exempted. No case law at all. You are killing this woman as surely as if you were the one who is the elder cleanser because you could have stopped them. Of course, Colonel Yates had a much better position to stop him. And yes, the FBI under you in the Greenville office was informed of this absurd situation of clear hostage April 17th, and they just dummied up. And it's now... 50 plus days and they've done nothing. They should be prosecuted, yes, for the homicide when it occurs. And it most surely will occur, but it will be caused by her being kept from medical treatment so that she would die of natural causes. That's called murder, you idiot. You idiot U.S. attorney, and you are now part of the conspiracy under simple com criminal conspiracy law. And you just live with it. The title of this is going to be quite blunt. Why you are part of a murder conspiracy. Come, come have the FBI take me away for suggesting it. But anybody who took first year criminal law would have learned that. First quarter in my case. I only had two quarters of it. Didn't have a full year. So... You had better notify, but you can't notify because you didn't get the details. You refused to even talk to me. And your guy, you had a guy call me. Yeah, he probably was an assistant U.S. attorney or he was an intern. The idiot had not even read the law that I had reported to you under 18 U.S.C. 4. He didn't know it. And he was trying to argue on it. Are you that pathetic, a U.S. attorney, that you send out someone who doesn't have your best argument? Sir, there is no best argument. They're all lousy arguments. You are guilty of joining the conspiracy. And you can get out of it. You know how to get out of conspiracies. You do your, you, you go back and you abide by the section and you, you do everything and more to show that you are rejecting your position in the conspiracy. And then maybe you won't be prosecuted by the Democrats. But maybe Mr. Trump will prosecute you anyway, because Mr. Trump is a hard, hard nosed kind of individual who expects better out of U.S. attorneys. So did I get it right? You did not. You got it wrong. You got you got yourself as a part of a mur ongoing murder conspiracy. As of the last paper I have received on Friday and as of the Internet, there is no sign that Henny has died. So now it's long enough. Yes, your goose is cooked.